Good night. It's just gone the 17th of September 2023 and this is about uh, tanning law and it was in the news in the, to, today and yesterday that on board Planola the Irish Appeals Board for Planning has refused permission for uh, a facility on the Shannon Estuary at Bally Longford and other townlands near Tarbert in County Kerry where there is already a power station there and the, we'll, we'll have a look at the grounds now in a minute but one of the things that this is a big project and it obviously it requires an environmental impact assessment but we're going to look here in the inspector's report excuse me at uh, what in the inspector's report about Euro european policy so the inspector cites U U European policy, European national, regional and local planning, energy, climate and other policy of relevance, including in particular, in particular the following. Directive 201452EU, that is the amendment to the Environmental Impact Assessment Directive. That's the local, um, the local uh, assessment that has to be done. And that's the last update of it. And that particularly says there must be expertise in the EIA and there must be uh, the cumulative effects must be examined. Other than that, it's a, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't take out the original EIA directive of 2011. Now it mentions it again. So it says here, Directive 21452EU, amending Directive 21192EU, the EIA directive. That is quite right. So that's, of course, a very relevant directive, and that is included on this planning application. The next one is Directive 9242EC, the Habitats Directive. And that's amended by the Birds Directive and uh, Birds Directive and Directive 979409 eu and 2060 eu water framework directive so they're all right so they're in there with that they have it properly listed now that's the eu policy there is no word whatsoever of the strategic environmental assessment directive none whatsoever that the directive that over overarches all of this all of this um all of this uh, government plans and programs totally forgotten about and then the go into the national policy project ireland 240 that's been challenged by friends of the irish environment as have a no sca national development plan no sca uh, national marine planning framework no sca program for government our shared future 2020 no sca Climate Action and Low Carbon Development Amendment Act 2021, no SCA. Climate Action Plan 2023, no SCA. Short Term Strategic and Greenhouse Gas Emissions Reduction 2023, no SCA. Review of the Security of Energy Supply of Irish National Rail Grid and Gas Systems Consultation Paper, no SCA. Policy Statement on Security of Electrical Supply. Uh, no SCA, National Energy Security Framework, no SCA, National Adoption Framework, no SCA, uh, uh, and Electricity and Gas Network Sector Climate Change Adoption Plan, National Energy and Climate Action Plan, absolutely no, no, um, no SCA whatsoever, and National Ports Policy, uh, that's ports should, where there's a policy formed on that, there should be an SCA. And then there's regional and lo local planning, Local policy is regional spatial uh, economic strategy, strategic integrated framework for the Shannon Estuary, Shannon and Fines master plan, Kerry County Council development plan, and the Stoll Municipal District local plan. The location, nature, scale, and layout of the pro proposed development comes next. Now, the point is, there are all those regulations mentioned, and the EU law on the environment. Is quite simple there has to be the first one is the strategic environmental assessment carried out with public participation and uh, the right to take a judicial review and all that for the overarching plan or program and then they can amend it and modify it as the right name for we'd say this particular plan or policy on 
uh, frack gas and also for gas, right? Now the inspector sort of duplicates because at five, that's higher up than what I'm after reading you, is policy and context. Regard had to regard has had to the following national, region, and local policy documents. Nothing about the European SEA directive. The national fra planning framework, national development plan, national marine planning fra framework, the climate action plan, climate action uh, and low carbon development amendment act 2021, climate action plan, national adoption framework, uh, sectional emissions ceiling limit, national energy and climate plan, government policy statement on the importation importation of frack gas May 2021. Policy Statement on Security of Electricity Supply, National Energy Security Framework, Review of the Security of Energy Supply of Ireland's Electricity Consultation Papers, National Ports Policy, no word of the European SEA at all, other energy sectors, All Ireland Generation Capacity Statement, CRU Information Security Paper, SEAI Energy Security in Ireland, Long Term Res Resilience Study 2018. And then there's a local um, local uh, policy is regional spatial strategy, strategic integrated framework, Kerry County Council development plan, and the stolen municipal plan. Now that's a bit of a duplication, but I read the two out because they don't mention the SEA at all, and they are wide open. If the people who refuse that permission want to go to court on that. They can't mention these plans because all of these plans were drafted the same as the 2006 Wind Energy Guidelines, which were struck down by the European Court of Justice in case C2419. They are burying their heads in the sand about that. But I am trying to get a few submissions in. They're very, very, uh, very difficult. I have one in until Kenny uh, Solar Farm. And uh, we have a few people already to get them on that and to take a court case just on the SEA directive alone because what they do in all cases, because more than all is in on this, if you put in a, a judicial review on the on we say the SEA <coughs> and you put another ground to say that there's something else we'd say um something to do with a ship or something, they'll they'll yield on the second one to so that they can't set a precedent. If a precedent is set, every inspector will have to refer to it. But that is challengeable anyway. But it's good news for the local people down there. At least they've held up government policy. Now, if we look at what the inspector says and then go into the, the, the actual refusal document, the planning number, if you want to search Borg Planola's planning, plan, planning number, they don't use the on Borg Planola. It's 311233. 311-233. And 2021 was when it was issued. But that'll get you in if you just search three one one two three three you'll get in there now we'll go down to see what the board says and it came to an eight to two decision to refuse it and uh, i'm just going to pause for a minute to get the... now what it says is in uh, reasons and considerations for refusal in it is government policy as set out in the policy statement on the importation of fracked gas that's hydraulic fracking may 2021 that it would not be appropriate to permit or proceed with the development of any LNG, that's liquid natural gas terminals in Ireland, pending completion of review of the security of energy supply of Ireland's electricity and natural gas systems. Other policy statements, including the National Marine Planning Framework, National Energy Security Framework 2022, and National Energy and Climate Plan of 2021-2030, confirm that the completion of the review is a key priority in considering risks to energy supply and the need for energy storage. <coughs> Batteries is what that energy storage, a complete waste of time. There was a battery on this thing and it only had one hour, one hour storage. <coughs> fuel diversification and additional capacity to import energy. The review of the secured energy supply of Ireland, Ireland's natural gas systems, Department of the Environment, Climate and Communications has been subject to public consultation. But funny enough, I missed out on that. Now, I, I didn't get doing it. I'm doing another one at the minute. They're consult, consulting every two months and it's hard to give up with them. And the initial technical analysis does not support the development of a commercially operating floating LNG FSRU 
whatever that is, the review has not been has not yet been completed. So essentially what the board is saying, you have to have a review, you didn't do it, and we can't go ahead until we get that review done. And the, re the existing policy is that we don't import gas if there's a pos remotest possibility that it was produced by hydraulic fracking. And if you come from America, that's what it's all produced by. And most of it is produced by that. So this is, this is their own policy coming to get them back. Have regard to the nature and form of the proposed development, which constitutes an overall integrated facility incorporating LNG terminal, and with clear focus on the use of LNG as the primary fuel source for related elements such as the proposed power station to the proposed power station. It is considered that the development at this time would be contrary to current government policy and, it, and in the absence of such policy support, such development would be contrary to the proper planning and sustainable, sustainable development of the area. So they whimped and hauled and huffed and puffed and Eamon Ryan and the whole lot huffed and puffed and brought out this policy document and said, well, what I said, that we're not having frack gas in Ireland, we're not having frack gas, and we're not importing it from anywhere. doesn't matter where. It will be the North Pole or the Sahara or anything else. It has to come up from a, a, a jump to oil or some other way. As to how they're going to find out what Russia is doing with fracking, I don't know. But that's where a lot of the EU's gas is coming from. But then they said, if that's the policy, we can't grant this. But you note, it's good in a way. It's a good policy, good thing because it's going to lead to uh, hopefully blackouts and a lack of a lack of fuel in Ireland soon, and then that will wake the people up to these these greens and their and their and their lackeys in the other parties. But it's good that way, in that respect. But for the good of the country, of course, it's a disaster too. But really, it's the government should be building this. Not only should the government have an SCA for it, they should be actually building it. Why is every private hunky donkey in the place getting into energy? They want solar farms, they want wind energy. They all believe they can become rich with the wee bit of light that's shining down here in a plug in the wall. I have two generators, not one, two home generators, a diesel and a petrol. But they think this is the way of the future. Now, also, on the application which I read, there's a, there's a, a mention of future data centres. So if they've got this bit, the next thing is they'll hit them with data centres. But the inspector said, well, it's not splitting the project because it's not known yet whether that will go ahead. So you see, all of this gas we were in, all of this energy to build data centres. That's the whole, the whole thinking behind this massive increase in generation. So we can become the data centre dump for the whole world. That's the bottom line. Anyway, it's a it's a step forward. Uh, um, we have them caught. We have them caught. I, I have a few groups lawyered up already waiting to hit them. Uh, and they'll what they're going to do now is they're going to place these wind farms, solar farms, and all this stuff anywhere there's a community that let it in, that won't go the whole way and fight it through the courts. That's the hard part. And it's an awful pity we don't have a national association with finances to tackle each and every one. Because there's already a case in the European Court contesting all this. That's totally ignored. So it's corruption. That's what it is. And you folk, I hope I've explained it recently well, reasonably well to you. That's the law. You can check it yourself. The SEA directive is its number is 2001 stroke for slash forward slash 42 EC or the SEA directive and get the version of it with LEX written on it. That's the official version. And check out Article 3.2. They're way out of their depth with this. They're totally wrong. It's just a matter of rounding them up on it and pinning them down. And every, I've done, man, we managed it twice. And hopefully we'll get another couple of, of bites at the cherry. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. We'll see you something back for something soon. Thank you.